Hi, my name is Ryan Golden, and I'm here to talk to you today about a company that I'm starting. A little bit of background, about six months ago, my wife and I had our first baby, and I had the uh, fortunate privilege of not being working, not being in a full-time job at, this, at the time. Uh, we found ourselves feeding the baby the first couple months. It seemed like we were feeding the baby all the time. And, um, you know, so I'm starting a company that's a, a dad-focused baby products company, and my first, and my first um, invention, which is a patent-pending product, is called Dad's Little Helper. And I brought a, put, a prototype here. It rests in, uh, in the parent's lap while you're uh, feeding the baby, and the baby lies in the, in the cavity here. So um, after inventing the product, what we found was that uh, there's just no market. Uh, there's no, no market out there for, or there are no products out there already for dad-focused um, products. Um, so we said to ourselves, there's an opportunity here, and we have, uh, like I said, developed a prototype, and at this point, we are projecting sales of about uh, $2.3 million uh, for the first year, and that's an estimate of about 100,000 units. Um, I'm sorry, that, that would be, uh, yes, that's sales, and then about a $1.5 million in profit. Uh, we seek about $300,000 in funding, and that would go toward uh, the purchase of initial inventory, uh, marketing, and uh, some startup costs. Um, you know, our sales projections uh, look at show that we will be profitable by about month three, uh, depending on our uh, our potential ability to get the funding and uh, get some uh, good marketing uh, partners up and running with us. Questions. See. I was going to say, you mentioned that there's nothing out there like this, and yet babies get fed. Um, is, it, is it more a novelty item, or is it? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that it's a, novel, that it's a novelty item. Uh, what it does is it enables, enables the parent to have a free hand while they're feeding the baby. So what I, what I found was I, was, uh, I would be sitting on the couch and you know, trying to uh, watch TV, um, and I was feeding the baby, and if I wanted to have something to drink, grab a, uh, um, you know, a handful of chips uh, to have something to eat, or grab a, uh, a burp cloth, I had no free hand. So I had, we, were, we were bottle feeding the baby, obviously. I had him in one arm, and I had the bottle in the other hand. So I found myself holding the bottle with my chin and trying to grab things and that sort of thing. Um, so at that point, I said to myself, there has to be a better way to do this, and, um, and, and the end product is, is what you see here in front of you. So it's a convenience product. When you're you're targeting a niche market, love niche markets, going after guys, I just question eliminating more than 50% of the market immediately and then a much larger percentage of the market that's actually doing the shopping. How, how are, is this going to be a gift for men? What is, what is your go-to-market strategy to get those guys to get this on their lap? Right, absolutely. And we considered um, you know, the fact that we might be eliminating a large portion of the market um, we made the decision that it really came down to the fact that, you know, in, in most households where there's a baby, there's a mother and a father. And, you know, the product will end up being used by both. Um, what I think we, um, you know, the, the, the thought that it's only a daddy product, uh, where you might eliminate some sales there, I think you make up for in the uniqueness in the product being marketed toward fathers. Um, you know, and, and, and as far as the marketing, from the marketing perspective, uh, you know, we've looked at items like uh, using a licensing for college or, or um, you know, professional sports teams and uh, doing those on the cover and that sort of thing. Well, thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen of Babies and More. I appreciate uh, the time you've given me today to talk about uh, Lasugo Corporation and a new product that we have. It's called uh, Dad's Little Helper. Uh, Lasugo Corporation, uh, as it grows, will be a dad-focused baby products company. Uh, the first patent pending product is Dad's Little Helper, and it is an infant uh, feeding support pillow. Wholesale and retail prices are $20 and $32, respectively. Um, so as you can see, uh, margins from your point of, view, uh, point of view are going to be pretty attractive um, and, and definitely in line with uh, industry averages. So uh, what the uh, product does is it sits in the, in the parent's lap while they are feeding the baby and uh, nestles the baby and um, allows the, the parent to have a free hand to do 
something else, whatever it may be. If they want to grab a Coke and, and be able to have something to drink, if they want to grab a handful of chips, um, they need to grab a burp cloth to wipe the baby's face off. Um, once again, it, it allows you to have a free hand for whatever it is that you might want to do. Uh, there are additional dad-focused pro dad products forthcoming. Uh, one would be a, a similar product uh, for twins, and um, <laughs> this, that would be to enable uh, the parent to, um, to feed both babies uh, at the same time, and, uh, and some other um, dad-focused products that are in, uh, in the, the uh, uh, initial stages. Uh, so uh, as, far, as far as the market opportunity is concerned, uh, we think that the dad-focused baby products is an underserved niche market. Um, you know, there are 4.1 million babies born each year, and a 2001 um, national immunization survey reports that by day seven, 40% of newborns are, at are fed at least partly by bottle. Uh, one great advantage here that the mothers are going to love is the fact that if, if even if uh, a baby is being nursed, uh, with the utilization of dad's little helper, they can say, can say to their husband, you know, really, I need some time off. I need to go, you know, get my hair done, get my nails done, take the baby for the afternoon, use dad's little helper, watch your games, whatever you want to do. Uh, but I, I need a little bit of me time. Um, another thing is that uh, more and more dads are uh, staying at home with their children while mom works, um, especially in, in today's economy. You know, generally, uh, if, if, you know, if someone can work, then uh, if one, of, one of the two parents can work, then wh whomever it is, that's who uh, is going to go out and earn the money. Um, as far as uh, some uh, competitors that we've uh, acknowledged in the marketplace, uh, dadgear.com is a site that sells uh, mes messenger-style bags uh, for dads. And um, it is, once again, obviously it's a, it's a dad-focused uh, baby product company. Um, they don't necessarily have anything that's unique. Uh, it's their messenger bags that one could buy at any sporting goods store anywhere else. Um, and then another product would be the Boppy, and it's um, a, a support pillow used generally for nursing and for some playtime. Um, my wife and I tried the Boppy for the bottle feeding, and it just didn't work for us. Um, it, it's really geared more toward, toward nursing. Uh, some advantages that we see in, in the company. Uh, you had mentioned that um, you, you question whether this would be a gift item, and, and we certainly think that that's a huge advantage that um, the product has here because um, it, it will be a gift item. Uh, you know, longstanding tradition in the United States is for um, uh, folks to have a, a baby uh, shower uh, for new parents, and uh, friends and family definitely want to get the father involved. If there's anything that they can do to uh, help facilitate that, um, you know, they can, they're, they're going to buy that product. Um, in our own experience, we, we had people, you know, asking if they're, you know, what they could buy for me. And uh, once again, there really wasn't much out there. I ended up with a backpack uh, that I could use that when I had the baby on the weekends for the diaper, diaper bag, but um, really nothing else out there. Attractive profit margins, once again, at about 60% of your cost. Um, this is a unique product and not simply a messenger bag or backpack that can be bought at any sporting goods store. Do you have any product liability concerns with it? I, I, I know it's a convenience device. I just wonder if I'm multitasking and feeding my baby. If it falls out of my lap, then that's on me. If it falls out of the little helper, do I suddenly... Uh, Take there, on some risk that I, I don't. Right. Want. Yeah. There certainly certainly um, could be some product liability concerns, um, and that would be where product liability insurance would uh, policy would come in. Um, you thought about a strap or anything that looks similar to maybe um, a cushion on top of a diaper changing table. That mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Maybe a seatbelt uh, if Dad has a beer instead of a soda in this cup holder. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> exactly. Um, th they are possibilities. Um, you know. Um, in our experience, it, it hasn't been um, an issue, but, uh, and, and obviously there will be a lot of warnings uh, that will have to come along with the product um, on any packaging uh, that exists. And if you have children, you know that any, any product you buy for your children has warnings all over it. You know, don't, don't put them on, you know, surfaces over, you know, a foot high and all those sort of things. So, um, you know, there will have to be warnings and, and disclosures with this product. A strap is certainly an idea, something that uh, we would consider. 
since we're in the legal issues, being that we've got competitors here at Talmart that may want a similar product on the, what's the barrier to entry to replication of this? You've got a patent pending currently? I do have a patent pending. And that protects what? Um, it, it protects the design of the product. Um, and, and what uh, is the uniqueness of the design that's protecting, protected under that patent? Uh, the two unique items would be, uh, the mo two most unique would be the, the inclusion of the uh, bottle holder and the um, contoured uh, area for the waist. Gotcha. As far as our uh, team members are concerned, uh, I'm the uh, creator of Dad's Little Helper and uh, the founder and president of Lasugo Corporation. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in economics from the University of Illinois, and I'm currently an MBA student here at UNC Charlotte. I have nine years of experience in sales and account management. Uh, my wife uh, will be the vice president of the company, and she has over six years uh, experience as a registered nurse, and um, she's worked at some of the finest hospitals in the country, and I, I think that um, where that um, plays a factor here is, is in credibility. Um, she is a labor and delivery nurse, and um, you know, the, the fact that she uh, obviously endorses the product um, says a lot about it. Well, I think, uh, I think well, you as, Let me ask you this, as a uh, chain, yes. and as a merchandiser for a chain, I look for items to put on the shelf that have broad appeal, because as a chain, I need to sell volume. Okay. And what I see here is that um, we've eliminated a huge portion of the parent um, by appealing to dads, um, even if all, I look at all the births, there are many that don't have participatory dads. Mm -hmm. And then there's a very short time span, uh, and many times children only use the bottle after they've had a period of nursing or whatever. So it seems to me the opportunity is very low and very small, and it would become much more of a novelty item a, a, or a gift that somebody would pick up that can't think of anything. So I would take that as... Um, into your calculation because you're talking about um, 100,000 units in the first year. That's a lot. Sure. That's a lot. Where are you in the development of the manufacturing process that you're in your supply chain? You, what's your scalability? Can you, if we, if we were to place an order, could you service that? Yes, absolutely. It would, it would be about 45 to 60 days um, before we could place your order, but. Um, you know, we could meet, you know, your needs up to 10,000 units for initial order. Is that domestic production? Uh, it's produced in China. Then what if it were my, uh, wildly successful, what would your uh, reorder time be? Um, it, it's gonna be right around that same 45 to 60 days. So, uh, you know, if we, you know, enter an agreement, into an agreement with you, uh, the wheel stock inventory and make sure that we can, uh, meet your, your ordering needs. Is the item washable somehow? The, the cover is removable and washable. It has, uh, it has elastic on the, on the back, so. If, if you were to look at licensing the product to make it more of that novelty to create more opportunity to actually sell it as a gift item to men, does that add any protection in the, the design patent? Um, if we were licensing like uh, sports teams or something like that, you mm -hmm. mean? Uh, not to my knowledge. My biggest concern at this point is the, is the protection of that patent. If, sure. it's, if it's the curvature and, and the cup holder. If, sure. If it's someone produced one to... without a cup holder and sure. without curvature, they might be able to produce a very like item. So I'd look for as many unique things right. to add to it as possible. Sure, absolutely. Um, and some legal advice that we've received is that we could look for additional protection in a uh, provisional utility patent. Um, if we uh, uh, get to a point where we get the funding that we need, that will be something that we will certainly consider. So that's simply a budgetary restraint right now, though, something you hope to achieve? Yes.